For this video, I want to show you guys how to do one of these adding vectors problems. So um, this is um, similar to a problem you'll see on your test. Um, the numbers are different, but it, it's very, very similar. So I wanted to kind of walk you through it. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we need to find the um, x components of the resultant and the y components of the resultant um, of these two vectors. So um, what we're going to do is um, we're going to find um, AX and then BX. So AX is going to be um, 22 cosine of 220. So I'm just taking that, um, that 22 number right here and I'm putting it right here. And then I'm taking that 220 and putting the cosine. And then BX is going to be the same. It's going to be 35. So I'm taking that 35 from right here. And um, it's going to be cosine of negative 45. So you see with the x's, we're always using cosine. And then you'll see with the y, we're always using um, sine. And so then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to do 22 sine 220. So it's exactly the same. The only difference is um, we're using sine. And then I'm going to have bx is equal to 35 sine negative 45. And again, it's just sine for the y-axis and cosine for the x-axis. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and solve for those and I'm going to get negative 1685 and positive 2475 for um, the x-axis and for the y axis, I'm going to get negative 14.14 and negative 24.75. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to solve for the, um, the resultant. So I need to add up the, um, I need to add up the x component. So I'll have negative 16.85 plus 24.75 and that's going to give me 7.9 and then I'll do the same thing I'll do um, ry equals negative 14.14 plus negative 24.75 and that's going to give me negative 38.89 okay so now um, I've got these two numbers, and I can put them in the uh, Pythagorean theorem, that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, so I'm going to have 7.9 squared plus negative 38.89 squared equals c squared, and that's going to give me 62.41 plus 15, 1, 2, 43. And you'll see that um, because we squared the negative 38, the negative actually fell off. We don't need that anymore. Um, and that will give us 15, 74, 84. And that's C squared. So we still have to take the square root. And that's going to give us 39.68. And that's going to be our C. And now the very last thing we have to do is we have to get um, the angle of that resultant. So we're going to use theta is equal to tangent negative 1 of ry over rx. So that's this number over this number. Okay, so that's going to give us tangent of negative 1 over negative 38.89, sorry, inverse tangent, um, not tangent negative 1. I mean, I guess you can call it that, but it's really inverse tan. Um, and that's going to give us negative 78.52. Um, and so um, if this was on your test, let me get a different color. Uh, let me try like orange or something. Okay. Um, on your test, you would get, um, you get like a point for this. And you'd get a point for this. Um, 
you get a point for this, I believe. You get a point for this part. And you get a point for this part. Uh-oh, where did that go? So that's your five points. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? And you'll want to show your work, too. Remember, to get full credit, you've got to show your work. Um, and then the other really important thing for this, um, these type of problems, and I'm going to write it really, really thick, is that your calculator needs to be in radians. I mean, decrease, sorry. It should not be in radians. Okay, if you're, if you're getting... Um, let me finish writing this. If you're getting like decimal point answers instead of um, um, for your um, degrees, if you're getting like, you know, 0.5 instead of 78.52, if you're getting really small numbers, that's a hint that your calculator's in degrees and you need to move it or in radians and you need to move it over to degrees to get the correct answer. Okay, so um, hopefully this was helpful showing you how to solve one of these um, adding vectors problems that you'll see on your um, 2D model.